and welcome to your Wednesday footy feed. Geelong veteran Paul Chapman is determined to play on next season and he says he is open to doing so at another club. He's still at the Cats for now though and today he enjoyed the club's annual end of season drinks as we've come to expect plenty of work went into the costumes. His playing future is up in the air and he's not even sure when the club will meet to discuss it with him. It hurts, yeah, it really does. Um, I don't know, I suppose you take a little bit for granted and you just think that things will just happen and roll along and then all of a sudden things like this get thrown at you. Um, just a little challenge, but um, to be a one-club player will be, would be awesome, will be awesome. I don't know, but to play for another club, I'm not saying that may not happen if, if things don't work out here. Chapman's partner is pregnant and they're yet to discuss whether a move interstate would be possible. Justin Lepich has got straight down to work after being officially unveiled as Brisbane Lions coach this morning. The Triple Premiership defender's first task is to try to convince a group of disenchanted young stars to stay. I'll, I'll do my best. You know, a big part of for me is about the going forward. I'm going to do my very best to keep the kids and, 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 and ratify um, the issues they may have. Um, but it's more important for the club that we're not in this position again. Lepich says he's comfortable about the club's situation despite ongoing issues at board level. In fact, Chairman Angus Johnson insists the Lions' five-year plan is on track. I'd say after two years we're, we're actually um, slightly ahead um, and um, very confident about where the club's going. Mediation talks will continue with the AFL. Now to the grand final and for Hawthorne it's a player's day off ahead of their main training session tomorrow but it hasn't stopped speculation about the coach's future. Matt Thompson joins us with more. Matt? Well Jackie there's been so much speculation about Lance Franklin's future so far this season. The last thing the Hawks need in grand final week is speculation about the coach but that's exactly what has happened with reports linking Alistair Clarkson to the vacant job at the West Coast Eagles. He has been quick to quash it though and so too has the club's chairman Andrew Newbold. If you understand the nature of the bloke and I think it's evident in the statement he's put out that's the end of the matter you know and and certainly in terms of my Richter scale, it wasn't even showing up. All right, now to the Fremantle camp. Light duties and yoga for Frio today. Their main session coming up tomorrow as well. And we can tell you that there's another update on the fitness of Luke McFarlane, Chris Main, and also Michael Johnson. It comes today from Chris Bond, the football manager. He says they are all on track for Saturday. A couple of them pulled up a little bit sore from the game. Got through the week really well. Doctors... We'll have uh, no doubt that they'll play. Um, didn't train yesterday, but that was no surprise. And from our point of view, it's no real threat if they just jog around tomorrow as well. Uh, all will be available and all will play. Now we are here at the AFL Live site at Federation Square. This place is pumping. Earlier today we were down at the MCG. That is the place to be on Saturday, of course. The match day entertainment featuring Birds of Tokyo and Hunters and Collectors. And check this out. Andrew Dimitri, the Chief Executive of the AFL, having kicked a kick with the bands. Oh, look, it's, it's very important to get the entertainment right because we're still recovering from meatloaf. Uh, having all Australian entertainment for an Indigenous game is, is very important. Andrew Dimitri there on the Hallow Turf. The league chief also today announcing an extension of the contract between the AFL and Virgin Australia for a further five years. Now, we are here at Federation Square. On Friday, the grand final parade will come right past here, looking at a top of 21 degrees and sunny on Friday. For match day on Saturday, 17 degrees and maybe a few showers, the current forecast. Jackie, that's my attempt at being a weatherman. Back to you. Thanks for that, Matt. And that's it for today's footy feed. I'm Jackie Reid. I'll see you next time.